So I'm going to show you how to play Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. First some domestics. This song is in drop D. If you played along to the record though, you're going to want to go drop D and then half a step lower. If you need the toilet, hit the pause button, we'll wait for you. Like, subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn next. So I'm in drop D now. The song starts like this. Slow down, we're gonna do, uh, well, it'll be like an A sus two shape, but we don't get that far because we're only playing these three strings. And the pattern is the same for each of these chords at the start. So we're gonna go open A, then I'm gonna play the next two strings, fretted at the second fret, and then back up on ourselves one string. So. The second chord, we're in drop D, so we can just whack a finger down on the third fret to cover these lowest three strings. And do the same picking pattern, so. And then take your hand away. And then you repeat that. And then we're gonna slide up on the D string from the second fret to the fourth fret. And play the fourth fret note a few times, so. And we do it with our middle finger because then our first finger's just loose and hanging, ready to play the third fret on the A string. And you play that note twice. And then the open D string. So. So that's your intro and your verses. So you just do that a few, quite a few times over really. So practice that over and over again. At some point, you're gonna kick your overdrive in and you're gonna go. Leading you nicely into the chorus with your, hey, wait, I got a new complaint. <laughs> Marvelous. Uh, which is. So you're gonna hit some chords, then you're gonna do a bend. So you're gonna go. Now uh, it's easier it's easier to bend on an electric, but um, let's not worry about that now. I think bending down's probably slightly easier because of where you've got to go with the chords. But whatever's most comfortable to you. So you're going to go with this A5 chord, which is just just those. The rest of them are muted, so you're going. And then on the fourth fret on the G string, you're going, and that's the bend you're going to do after each chord. So. got the last bit is the and as you you just play one note so you got your slide you play a few times on that fourth fret on the D string once on the A string at the third fret and then yeah so practice that over and over again. The, the bend can be a bit tricky if you're new to that kind of thing, but you'll get it, so. And so on, okay? Okay, you're coming out of the chorus by uh, doing these fabulous uh, drop D power chords. So third fret. <laughs> so yeah, so from the third fret to an open, doing that bend again. You can really, really dig into it and play around with it because it's grunge, you know, just it, enjoy the noise, especially if you're plugged into an electric, you know, into an amp and got some dirt on there, so. Oh yeah, so. So on this bit, you can bend up on the fourth fret and you can pull off to the second fret. So, and that's kind of roughly what's going on there. So, and you're back to that slide. 
and then you me didn't orchids forget no and so on so you get your verses again the next and final thing to show you would be the guitar solo um, which don't be intimidated by it again it's just a little bit of practice and you'll get there so you start on the seventh fret on the d string and the other string that you're going to be doing something on is the b string so one fret up from there so so you go <laughs> so um i would with your first finger on the seventh fret on the d string and then bend up with your middle finger or whatever finger is most comfortable but it's probably going to be your middle finger on the eighth fret on the b string so drop both your fingers down two frets and do the same again you know note and, <laughs> and then drop it down two frets and play third fret on the d string and then this time your bends on the fifth fret on the b fifth fret on the b string so and you bend and then you're coming back to the third fret there and then five four on the g string so you're just walking down and then you repeat that so you go and then you come out of the solo with an a5 so Beautiful. That's us done.